Gio, um, yeah. well, uh, we we became connected because I learned about um, uh, I learned about the news where you where you secured the deal for Ezra Walian. Uh, yeah. I for his uh his signing with Persip now he's playing yeah. playing he's, he's going to play for Persip in the next season so tell us about your clientele right um you you're you're trying to promote talents to asian clubs to you're bringing yeah. european talents to asian asian markets is there any player that you represent that you need you think that the indonesian market or the asian market need to to know about something uh, you know new emerging talents that you need to look about i have my own clientele you know so so i have now uh, four or five players that I, I, I um, help myself, you know, like, like personally every, every week, every day that needs to grow. But uh, as we are now in this COVID situation and, and most of the times, especially uh, senior players, you know, players that are a bit older from 18 up to 33, they already have an agent. So there's, there's hardly any player without an agent. So, um, it's also a, a game of waiting until people get available and players get available that you are looking for. Uh, so I have my own players that I would like to bring somewhere, but the, I'm, I also work sometimes as a as a broker. As I said, most people have already, most players already have their agent, but this agent doesn't have contacts in all countries around the world. So, right. you know, being an agent is also a lot of connecting with other agents that have the knowledge and the connections in a certain country. Yeah. For me in Europe, I'm the, there's not many people who have European background that have the connections in, in, in Indonesia. So a lot of agents contact me as well. Like, hey, can you bring my player to Indonesia and then we will share the commission. So that's a thing that I do as well. So there's two things, brokering deals and you bring your own players. But what I want to do also next to that is I want to get talented Indonesian players as well signed with my agency. So that's the, I'm now in the process of, of setting things up in Indonesia as well with a representative that is uh, representing uh, me and my company because I don't always have the time to be in Indonesia. And I think yeah. I have someone that can contact the players that is following the players in uh, a weekly. And um, I'm setting that up now. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I would like to sign the Indonesian players with talent, but talent for me is not, not enough. You know, I also want mm -hmm. players who have the right mentality and the right yeah. Um, personality. Uh, yeah, and, and also as, as the right, who are the right person, because I'm not, I'm not going to, to push a player every day. Like you have to, you have to know, I want the player to be motivated himself. Yeah. And uh, where I can help them, I will say, okay, maybe you should better do this, or maybe should I can help you with this, or I can support, and uh, uh, and those kind of players I'm I'm looking for. So yeah, if you have some interesting talented players uh, from Indonesia, then uh, let me know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, because you know, uh, when whenever you know talented young players from Indonesia play abroad, especially in Europe, Bagus Kafi will play in Utrecht. Um, yeah. Egi has been playing uh, in Gdansk for for a year or so, or two years yeah. probably. So how 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 high is this um, in in your priorities, right? You know, bringing talented young players in Indonesia abroad, possibly in Europe, possibly in the biggest uh, footballing countries. How 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 important is that for you right now? Um, yeah, it is it is uh, important for me um, because I think I think I have the. The, the, the qualities and, and, the, and the connections to, to do this maybe a little bit better than, has, than it has been done before. Uh, 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 yeah, maybe that's a little bit arrogant to say, but uh, you know, people in Indonesia know who I am, but people in Europe know also who I am uh, mm -hmm. uh, in some countries. Um, in saying that, you know, bringing a, a player from Indonesia to Europe is not that easy because uh, uh, a non-European player, huh? so every everyone yeah. that's not from Europe. Uh, in, in some countries, you have uh, uh, a lot of restrictions, uh, yeah. especially now. For example, in England, it's already yeah. very hard with Brexit. Bring, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very hard to bring in non-European players because you have to be of some kind of standard, and you have to play in a national team, and the national team has to be of some kind of standard. So there are many requirements to enter UK. So that's yeah. already very hard. For example, the Netherlands is very hard because 
if you're a non-European player, you have to earn a minimum of 220,000 euro per year. Mm. Uh, if you're 18 and if you are above 21, you have to earn um, 350,000 euro as a minimum. So, you know, that's already big salaries in, in, the, in the league. Um, so for non-European, uh, there are not really many chances that they will sign someone. Only Ajax will get a Brazilian, a, a Feyenoord will get someone from, from Argentina. You know, yeah. these clubs can pay it, but not a lot can pay these things. And they do that because they don't want to play us from non-European countries, South America, Indonesia. These players will accept a lower salary than, than the standard salary in, in, in the Netherlands. And if they allow that, then a lot of uh, clubs will sign non-European players because they are cheaper than than the local yeah. one. So that's you know those restrictions are very difficult. And and for example, Belgium is is very not easy but easier uh, to to get uh, a non-European players. So they can have non-European player for a minimum of eighty-eight thousand euro as a total package. So that can be including the rent of the house. That can be the salary, that can be the rent of the car, that can be the, the, the petrol money. So that's already more attractive for a club to get a non-European yeah. player. I am a little bit looking in, in between, okay, what is the quality of the league where a player can develop, uh, work, away, uh, work around the costs that, it, uh, that a player has. And, you know, I can bring a player to, to Latvia, but yeah, is that good for a player to develop? Mm. No, I don't think so. Not really. But at least he can enter Europe, uh, you know, in these these countries. But yeah, that, yeah. that's not what I want. I want the, the perfect picture of a, a league where he can develop, but it's still worth for the for the club to get a player like this. And I think, you know, countries like Belgium, uh, Switzerland are, are perfect uh, for, for these uh, well, th thanks for explaining to me about, about these things, right? Because I think this is the very complex things that are happening in football behind the scenes that most people don't know about, yeah. right? Sometimes when we read in the news, oh, this player is, is, is excellent, has a lot of potential, send them to Europe, send them to the Netherlands, send them to, the, to England and stuff like yeah. that. It, the reality is it's just not that easy. It's not, it's not only about talent and potential, there's a lot of administrative works that need to be yes. done, requirements that need to be met. And this is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm having these conversations with, with people yeah. like you, right? With yeah. people who are working behind the scenes to, to get the game going, right? Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> correct. And that's the thing, you know, in Indonesia, everything is football, but only the football in the front and not, not what happens in the back. And, and it's good to, to explain to the people as well, to, to have a little bit more knowledge about how the game is really working and, and why isn't there any Indonesian player in, in the Premier League yet? Yet, not yeah. yet. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what Hopefully one day. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. So, um,